Hey, what's up, YouTube? Arc Random here, and welcome back to my Fire Emblem Fates Birthright Lunatic playthrough. Um, last time we did uh, Chapter 7, so we're on Chapter 8 right now. Um, between episodes, I did a couple of challenges to try and build up support, like uh, Jacob and Azure are both A rank support, as are Korn and Silas, um, Kaze and Rinko are both B, as well as Saizo and Orochi. Um, I did the Mozu paralogue, but I didn't feel like showing on screen because I didn't even recruit Mozu. Like, she died in the thing and I don't really care. Um, I'm not trying to use her because I don't have the time or experience to spare on her. Um, I mean, obviously I do if I want to, like, really grind up and level her up, but I already have plans for my first two heart seals, so she's not going to get any attention. So, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and roll on through. I'm hoping in this next match to get Silas and Corin to S rank and be able to do the Kana Paralog. It'd be real early, but I want to get the Kana Paralog and then I want to shift her to a knight and have that knight him. I'd have a male Kana and get him to a knight early on. Um, oh, wait. I think there's something I forgot to. My Citra crashed when I started recording the previous episode, and so I didn't even get like three turns into this level before it uh, crashed. So I wanted to do that and then optimize you. Okay. Yeah, everyone's leveled up a little bit except for Rinka and Tsubaki are lagging a little bit behind, but not terribly far. start here. So in this map we get one of the best units in the game and two of the worst units in the game. Uh, Hinoka is amazing. She is not quite as powerful as Camilla in um, or I guess not quite as strong of a place as Camilla is in Revelation but uh, in her own right she is just like a beast. She is super good. Um can attack you directly or I can throw a javelin at you and get some damage onto you and then pop you with a shuriken um, that little axe dude right there doesn't move so I can actually can that, can I reach him yeah I'd also love to get uh, Azura to S rank so I can get Dwyer um, because since I changed Jacob from a healer I now am down one. I am now down one less healer than I would have before, um, which I honestly like. I didn't. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But if I could get Dwyer, I would love to use him. I've also considered changing him to a uh, a Dark Flyer with the Abon wing, but I don't know if that's the best course of action. Um, it could be cool though. I th I think it, it definitely could make a cool unit. Alright, Spocky, let's go over there. Hinaka. This map's really not that difficult. Um, it's a lot of axes. A lot of axes and a few swords. But these wizards are really not that intimidating to me because they all. Oh, wait, a couple of them do have ox spirit. Hang on. I thought they mostly all had rat spirit, but it looks like they have. They're a little bit better. Um, all the archers also move around the map a little bit, so got to be really careful with Hinaka. Um, but luckily, she comes with Setsuna, who does in fact give her a uh, like free strength and speed as well as skill. But I don't, Hinaka doesn't really need it. I am considering just let's put you here. So if I send up Jacob up here, he's really not in a lot of danger. Because like he's got really good dodge rate against that iron club, and then arrows are not going to hurt him. He is a brick wall. So I feel like I'm in an okay spot. I'll keep Azama over here. He's got a sun festival, which is pretty nice. 
He starts with a higher weapons rating than Sakura, which is annoying. But Sakura's just a better unit in general. Um, she makes a great Falcon Knight. Alright, Hinaka. Ooh, not doing any damage. That's interesting. Oh, and Saizo got the return, got the revenge kill. Good shit. Wow, they can't... He's not even getting hit. That's real weird. I'm wondering why that is. Um, let's see. What's the best? Two damage while wielding the Armor Slayer. I'm going to do that, and then I'll finish him off Hinoka. I want to feed Hinoka some kills and get Hinoka uh, level up a bit, because she's really fast. She's really good, but she takes a little bit to get going. She's not horrible in her first chapter, but she's not as strong as you want her to be. Alright. Cool. Good, that's a... Uh, that's shelter, right? Yes. Good. Because I, I ranked him up at level 9, so... Or I ranked him up at level 8, so I didn't get, um... What is it, that one... I didn't get elbow room until I hit level 9, and then I just got shelter down. Um, elbow room's actually not doing anything for me in most of this map. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. Um, but this is why Jacob is more of a Frederick than Gunter ever will be. Um... In Conquest, though, if you just leave Gunter paired up with Corrin, he's actually can be kind of useful because his pair-up bonus is super good. It's like bonus three extra damage and reduces your damage you take by like four or some shit. Like he's really, he's, his bonuses are just too good. Let's switch to a Kodaichi so I can bait that archer out. Who wants to get this kill? Size it does. He can't reach me. He can. So red. So I guess if I keep my Naginata equipped, then I won't take very much damage from the mages. And then let's heal up Jacob a little bit. Just so I can keep having Sakura getting points. I just need Sakura to keep gaining experience. What is what is their movement range? I don't really want to pop any of these sand veins, like any of the dragon veins that change the sand, uh, because it actually would not be beneficial to me in a lot of cases. Cool. I'm watching that archer up there. That one archer. He's probably about to come down and fight. Normally in Lunatic, I wouldn't want to do these squads, so I want to get my characters recentered together. Oh, cool. Healer, healer, healer. I see. Alright, 14 damage. Alright. So that sword fighter up there has an archer with him. Okay. So right where that priest is, is where that sword fighter's range ends. Cool. Now that I know that. Azama. If I wanted to use Azama, I'd probably have to change his class immediately. Let's bust this guy with some shuriken. Once Sizer hits 10, I want to switch and get Orochi to 10. She's level 9 as well. So, not too far off. Ooh, I do have a katana. Oh, and I'm surrounded by axe dudes. Yeah, let's get some katana rank, shall we? 
So you've made it this far. Oh, does that trigger more enemies? I thought it did. Never mind then. And then let's sing for ya boy. I kind of want the increased dodge rate because it's every little bit of chip damage I can avoid helps. Well, I say that I'm, I can just heal with Sakura and keep getting pretty good experience because Jacob's technically level thirty in the eyes of the game. Oh shit! Oh shit! That was a big mistake. Oh my god! How did I miss that? Okay, that was that is some some living dangerous right there. I. It's a good thing I've leveled up Azura so much, because she could have very easily just died. Like, that would have, that could have very easily just been her death. I don't do enough damage. I do want to just use that, though. Because I want you here and shoot him. He doesn't quite get the kill. Interesting. Uh, I guess I can feed it over to Subaki. Yeah. Cool. Feed that one over to Subaki. Heal up Azura. I really need to get a javelin on. No, I need a throwing club. Jacob's. I need to get Jacob's weapon ranks up, ultimately. That's, that's really just the biggest problem. Zama. Heal him. Alright. Cool. Level 13. Yeah, if I hadn't leveled her up so much, then she probably would have died to that, dude. Oh, man. Attacking a Dread Knight with magic. That's... That's just, that's just a poor strategy, my friend. Let's get right into the range of that swordsman. Let's heal up Saizo. What will trigger that swordsman? Okay. What will trigger them? Why aren't they coming up? Okay. So Hinaka cannot get close to them. So I'm not even going to fuck with it. Baki can't get close either, so I can't feed that kill over. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sing to Saizo. And move Saizo in position to get a kill. Because if that mage decides to attack Saizo, then Saizo gains damage back. Oh, and now he's going to have Poison Strike, so that's good. Good shit, good shit. Okay. So, my wizardy friend. Um, why? What is that reach? Okay. Okay, I'm in a bad way. Because Azura can only get hit. Like, there's no way to avoid it. That's putting Subaki in danger to protect her. Nope, no, it's not. No, it's not. That's safe for Subaki. Um, but, oh, he didn't attack Azura. Oh, I guess Azura's just a high enough level to not be his target. So that's good. Cool, I've got a guard stance up. I don't think, oh wow, someone is going for, dude, he, they going in. What is this? Let's throw a, let's chuck a sword at him. Because reasons. They do the same amount of damage, so I don't really, I'm not really worried about it. Silas, level up, please. Alright, so. Alright, so.
So that archer can hit there, so I can't move you in. But, Oboro. Yes, this is all I needed. I just need some damage. Oh, what does, uh... I know Sheep Spirit increases defenses, so I want to keep Sheep Spirit up. I don't know what Monkey Spirit does. I don't know off the top of my head. Let's see. Come down. Cool. Alright. So I'm guessing only Jacob is within range, so that's good. Increasing their hearts. Keep healing, Jacob. Keep getting that experience. Oh man, getting close to level 10 on Sakura would be super helpful. Just general survivability for Sakura at all would be helpful. Um, do I want to move Kaze up and bait out that enemy? Yes, I do. I really do want that. And let's have a Zama heal Sakura. Hey, that whole one point. Worth. Worth. And then we'll move Baki up closer. We'll keep. Why doesn't that why doesn't that samurai move? I'm not sure why that's that sword fighter just refuses to move. Oh, Kaz is about to level up too. Cool. That'd be swell. Oh, that's Hinaka, not Baki. Oops. It's looking at the wrong character sprite. I wonder if I can give the boss kill over to Hinaka. I probably can with all of my assassins, or all my ninjas. Hmm. Darting blow is such a good skill. Also, part of what makes Jacob's damage so good in these uh, fights is um, Sakura's ability to uh, buff. That's not a, that's not going to be a kill. What? Can I do this and make it a kill? No. Fuck it. I want to give Oboro the kill. Oh, well. I guess I'll just get some experience for it. It'll help either way, and then we'll give Subaki the kill. Good. I wonder if I want. Would I rather make my uh, Sakura a mountain priestess? Or. Do I want a Falcon Knight? And I think Falcon Knight. I'm going to have a lot of flying units. The way I'm planning to play through this game, I'm going to have a lot of flyers. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, actually. That's a very powerful way to play. All right, some healing staves, good. All right, can I bust? Yep, one shot you. All right. So, if I remember, Fuga has like a really broken ability. What is it? Oh, he has a secret book on him. Oh, hit, hit and avoid plus 10 when his HP is below full, and he's got a lot of HP. So, this is dangerous. What can you do to kill me? What can you do to kill me? Why can he hit within two range? Wait, why is that his range indicator? I don't understand. I'm gonna... I'm gonna play this safe. I don't quite understand why his range indicator is what it is. I really need to switch off Silas, because they are not getting anywhere fast. pop some damage onto him, shall we? So. I need 24. Cool. 19. Level up, Kaze. Helpful. 
I can give a Rochi or Hinaka the kill, probably. Alright, so that brings him down to 11, which is easy. 7. That's real close. Can I push it a little closer? I can! There we go. Um, and before I finish off the stage, let's throw some extra experience around for my healers and for Azura. Well, I guess I say my healers. I'm not going to put any experience on a Zom. I don't really care. I can, but I figure I'll just hold on to a staff for later. And then let's give Hinako this kill. Oh, the vantage. That was dangerous. I'm, I need to consider vantage more often because I know I forget about it and it's all over the place in Hoshido. Yeah, level 10. Got Hinako to level 10 by the end of the stage. And camaraderie, which is sort of helpful. It's like a itty bitty baby renewal whenever you have allies nearby. Um, certainly not bad. There we go. Cool. Um, and I rearranged my whole castle, so in case you guys looking. Okay. Size on Orochi. Alright. Hinaka and Satsuna. Good. But Kaze and Rinka did not. And neither did Corin or Jacob. God damn it. Um Oh, I got a Daikon Radish. Thank you. Oh wait, there is something I can try. Let me see. Because I'm wondering, I'm wanting to do like the Kana battle in this episode since this episode kind of went by a little fast. So let's see if I can invite Silas in. Have him come over. Also, you see how bad this is lagging on, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Citra? Are you ready to hear more about the past? Oh. Oh. Nope, nope, didn't work. Oh well, I guess I'll call this an episode then. I may do a little more. I may try and get the paralogs unlocked and try and do an episode of paralogs next. Um, just because uh, it, they are important characters that I'm getting because I plan on using them on my team. People like Kana, like Shigure, um, like Dwyer, people like that. Um, and Sophie. I plan on using Sophie too. But with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it down below. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe to the channel. There's... If... Uh, you want to have a conversation down below? With that, guys, this is Ark Random, signing off. See you guys later.